I work on wireless communications and the types of technologies we develop uh, help people communicate more effectively. My research, my research focus is corporate finance. So basically it studies uh, issues related to firms' financing and investment decisions. I've seen an increase, definitely an increase in number of women, which I really think is great, um, as well as increase in diversity of people. So one of the things that's really exciting about Poly when you compare it with the rest of the engineering schools is that according to Forbes, we were ranked as one of the more women-friendly schools. And we have a fair number of women faculty. We also have a slightly higher percentage of women students than the rest of the country does. So as a woman in a male-dominated uh, field, you know, there has been, you know, a few challenges. I was the first woman who was not fired when I was pregnant. That's an obstacle that most men wouldn't ever have to face. Well, I remember when I started teaching, um, you know, I would go into the classroom and I felt the students uh, kind of weren't expecting a female professor, so I had to assert myself a bit uh, more uh, strongly. I was told on more than one occasion that I was taking the place of a man and shouldn't be in that class. Um, and there was always a bit of a skepticism about why it was that I would want to do the things that I was doing. I didn't know that women were not supposed to do some things. To achieve excellent science and to achieve excellent engineering, you have to have a diverse pool of ideas. Science can be an extremely exciting and compelling field, so uh, there will be obstacles. There will be obstacles in everything that you do. So just make sure that the one that you choose is one you really love and are excited about. My first PhD student was a female, you know, she had kids when she was a, a PhD student and she said, you know, I saw you with your kids and you know, you're so happy and you can do all of these things. So, you know, yeah. that's when she decided, hey, you know, I could go ahead too.